in computing, and a file is a condition in a computer operating system where no more data can be read from a data source. The data source is usually called a file or stream. In general, the EOF is either determined when the reader returns null as seen in Java's buffered reader, or sometimes people will manually insert an EOF character of their choosing to signal when the file has ended. In the C standard library, the character reading functions such as gcha return a value equal to the symbolic value EOF to indicate that an end of file condition has occurred. The actual value of EOF is system dependent and is unequal to any valid character code. Block reading functions return the number of bytes read, and if this is fewer than asked for, then the end of file was reached. EOF character, input from a terminal never really ends, but it is useful to enter more than one file into a terminal, so a key sequence is reserved to indicate end of input. In Unix the translation of the keystroke to EOF is performed by the terminal driver, so a program does not need to distinguish terminals from other input files. By default, the driver converts a control D character at the start of a line into an end of file indicator. To insert an actual control D character into the input stream, the user precedes it with a quote command character. Amiga DOS is similar but uses control backslash instead of control D. In Microsoft's DOS and Windows, reading from the terminal will never produce an EOF. Instead, Programs recognize that the source is a terminal and interpret a given reserved character or sequence as an end of file indicator. Most commonly this is an ASCII control Z, code 26. Some MS-DOS programs, including parts of the Microsoft MS-DOS shell and operating system utility programs, treat a control Z in a text file as marking the end of meaningful data, and or append a control Z to the end when writing a text file. This was done for two reasons, backward compatibility with CPM. The CAMPM file system only recorded the lengths of files in multiples of 128-byte records, so by convention a control z character was used to mark the end of meaningful data if it ended in the middle of a record. The MS-DOS file system has always recorded the exact byte length of files, so this was never necessary on MS-DOS. It allows programs to use the same code to read input from both a terminal and a text file. In the ANSIX 3.27-1969 magnetic tape standard, the end of file was indicated by a tape mark, which consisted of a gap of approximately 3.5 inches of tape followed by a single byte containing the character 13 for 9-track tapes and 17 for 7-track tapes. The end of tape, commonly abbreviated as EOT was indicated by two tape marks. This was the standard used, for example, on IBM 360. The reflective strip that was used to announce impending physical end of tape was also called an EOT marker. See also And of transmission character, substitute character, and of message, here document. References, Wayne Pollock. Shall here document overview hccfl.edu. Archived from the original on May 29, 2014. Retrieved May 28, 2014. Buffered Reader. Oracle. Retrieved February 28, 2014. HTTPS, www.nuorglibchtml mono libchtml eof and errors. HTTP www.logov specifications spashextape to html mark.